This tutorial deals with option leverage and the leverage dashboard. This is Jim Sample's leverage dashboard. It illustrates the leverage inherent in Jim's equity compensation holdings at different stock prices and lets you revise the assumptions under which it is calculated. Let's begin by reviewing the concept of leverage as it pertains to grants of company stock and options. Leverage is defined as the percentage change in value resulting from a percentage change in the price of the stock. Stock options have leverage because the option or grant price is fixed. Grants of company stock do not have leverage because they don't have a fixed option price, so a 10% increase in price yields a 10% increase in value. Stock options have leverage because the option or grant price is fixed. High leverage occurs when the stock price or fair market value is close to the grant price. For example, if the current stock price is $11 on an option of $10 and then goes up by 10% to $12.10, the in-the-money value leverage goes up by 110 percent from one dollar to two dollars ten cents. Conversely, low leverage occurs when the option is deep in the money. For example, if the current stock price is one hundred dollars on the same option of ten dollars and goes up by ten percent to one hundred ten dollars, the in-the-money value leverage goes up by only eleven percent from ninety dollars to a hundred dollars. Thus the higher the current stock price is relative to the option price, the less upside leverage or time value remains in the option. Let's go over the leverage table containing Jim's current values. The gold row represents the current stock price and contains columns for the participants option value, RSA and own share value, and the total value of both. The first column shows potential stock prices increasing and decreasing in 20 percent increments. Each row calculates the value of the holdings and the percent change of the increment, incremental change in value. For example, if the stock price increases 20 percent from $35.03 to $42.04, the option value increases by 58.29 percent. Since owned shares and RSAs do not have leverage, the incremental change is the same as the percentage change in the stock price. The incremental change in total value results in a 41.87 percent increase because it factors in the value of both the options and the other shares. But leverage is a two-edged sword, because if the stock price goes down by 20 percent, the option values decrease by 28.19 percent, and the total value decreases by 24.68 percent. As you can see, a portfolio containing both options and shares has less upside leverage, but also less downside risk. Additionally, you will notice that as the stock price increases, the incremental change for options decreases. Now that we've gone over the current values table, let's alter the stock price and the leverage increment to model different scenarios. For example, if we change the stock price to $30 and the increment to 10 percent and apply, we get a new set of values and incremental changes to gain additional perspectives on the leverage inherent in this portfolio of options and company shares. There are some important final considerations concerning leverage. By convention, the leverage for options that have no in-the-money value is assumed to be 100 percent. Time is not factored into this analysis so the values include both vested and unvested grants. Stock price changes are not based on probability. The values are calculated assuming the stated stock prices. And since options can contain a variety of different grant prices, value changes can be significant at different stock prices. This concludes this tutorial.